hey guys welcome to my channel and thanks for checking this video out if you're new here and have not yet subscribed please consider doing so and also turn on your notification bell in order to be notified every time i post a new video we'll be doing a tour of the Taz monument also known as mapembeni and nearly break a day and night tour in this video the Elephant Towers are located on Moy Avenue, which is a road that runs west to east from Kilindini to a roundabout towards Dega Road. The road is a dual carriageway with a central median of approximately 3 feet that is filled with flowers and shrubs. The towers were commissioned in commemoration of a visit to Mombasa by Queen Elizabeth II in 1952 when Kenya was still part of the British Empire. The first set of towers were built just down the road from where the current ones stand. They were made of canvas stretching over wooden frames and were only meant to be temporary. Although exact details of the first towers are not well documented. The second and current set of towers were built after the visit of Princess Margaret in 1956. The new towers were built from aluminium and were built to last. They are painted white to give them an ivory look and are known in Swahili as Pembe Zandovo, meaning elephant ivory. The towers are meant to represent the entrance to the city of Mombasa and were therefore to welcome Princess Margaret for her visit. The reason that elephant towers were chosen rather than any other item was because ivory was considered an exquisite commodity during the time that Kenya was a colony of the British Empire. And it was felt that the elephant towers would embrace Princess Margaret more successfully into this rather adorable destination. The new towers still stand today more than 60 years later and have become an important tourist attraction within the city. These elephant towers are so famous that US Marines often volunteer to paint them whenever they arrive to the city of Mombasa. Viewed from the correct angle, the four elephant towers make the letter M and represent the name of the city, Mombasa. Initially, the lower parts of the towers were illegally used for advertisement, but after the city council enforced strict laws, the landmark has remained in its original form ever since. One way to prove that you've set foot in Mombasa is getting to this place and taking a picture with the elephant towers in the background, which is totally free. The Nyali Bridge is a concrete gara bridge connecting the city of Mombasa or Mombasa Island to the mainland of Kenya. The bridge crosses to the creek to the northeast of the island.
The bridge is one of the three road lanes out of Mombasa, the other being Kipevo and Makupa Causeways. The Likoni Ferry provides a third transport link to the island and is situated at the southern tip. The mainland approach to the bridge serves as a police checkpoint on both directions. The old Nyali Bridge of the Florian Canton Bridge linking Mombasa Island to the Kenyan mainland and stood approximately 800 meters downstream from the current crossing. uses floats and shallow draft boards to support a continuous deck for pedestrian and vehicle travel. The floating bridge was commissioned by Governor Joseph Byrne in 1931 and linked the Mzizima district of Mombasa to Nyali. The western approach to the bridge is the only remaining part of the bridge. But one of the pantoon mooring anchors is on nearby display at the Tamarind restaurant.
look into these two places in Mombasa and would you like to share your experience? Please leave a comment in the comment section below and let's share our experiences. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.